At Quality Dental Care, they say that despite advancements in dental care and oral health, many Americans continue to suffer tooth loss. Having a missing tooth can not only lower one's confidence, it can also lead to future health problems. But there's a solution for this, and Quality Dental Care can help. Joining us today are Dr. Elizabeth Sand and Kelly Spivey to tell us more. Good morning. Hi, Welcome. Morning. Thank you. So tell us what exactly is a dental implant? So a dental implant is a kind of small threaded titanium screw that's placed and used to place just the root of a tooth. So um, we place that screw in the tooth and about four to six months later a crown or a cap will be made and then essentially you'll have the replacement for both the root and the crown oh, of the tooth. There we go. So there's what it looks like. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like a real screw then. It's yeah, yep. So uh -huh. it's made of titanium and it's threaded in there and it has to heal over time for a little bit and then eventually you'll come back and get the actual top or the crown placed onto it. What are the reasons why people get dental implants? So when someone's missing a tooth or a series of teeth they can um, have a dental that's implant that's placed. So. A lot of times we'll place a, a dental implant like the picture on the screen here that will show just replacing one single tooth mm -hmm. rather than having to do a bridge like shown on the bottom where we have to actually take tooth structure off the adjacent teeth or the tooth in front of or behind to replace it. So when the teeth on either side of a, of a missing tooth are healthy, we would rather choose a dental implant to be placed over the top to replace a single tooth. Um, other issues when people have a couple missing teeth, they can have like a dent, uh, an implant bridge placed so they'll replace a couple of teeth over it or even can be used to place um, hold partials or dentures in. So is that tooth like, literally screwing on? Like does it just screw right on there? Yeah, so we have cement. I don't know why I'm like so in awe of this. <laughs> this is so we have cool. cement retained or <laughs> implant or um, screw retained implant crowns. Yeah. So kind of depending on the situation and where in the mouth it is, we'll choose what's the best option for you. But they are essentially um, placed with a screw through the top of the crown and then that way uh -huh. it's accessible if there's issues in the future with the implant or something. Okay. Now is it usually trauma or something that would lead to, to tooth loss? I had one friend who, who has a fake tooth and I think it <laughs> was like a swing set incident or something. Yeah so it can be a variety of factors. Um, you can be congenitally missing teeth, so born without a certain teeth in the mouth, that's common in a lot of places. Um, otherwise, it could be from periodontal disease or gum disease that causes tooth loss over time or traumatic accidents as a young child or even as an adult with you know, a work incident or car accident or whatnot. Now, is there a lot of pain associated with the procedure? I'm sure people are wondering that. And how long is the recovery time? Um, I would say that the pain or discomfort is pretty minimal, so you'll, your dentist will choose what type of anesthetic is best for you during this situation, and they'll make sure you're numb and comfortable during the appointment. And then typically post-operative post discomfort can be managed with just over-the-counter medications like Tylenol or ibuprofen um, for about two to five days after. Kelly, let's bring you into the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people might have questions if, if this is something they need about how long the whole process takes. How long does it take from start to finish? It can typically take about I would say up to about eight months. Um, the first four months you are healing with your implant in there and kind of growing into the bone and everything in the tissue. And then after four months of healing, they'll go in and they'll take their impression for the implant. So does a patient generally have to take time off of work? And if so, how much? Um, I would say um, most patients choose to actually go back to work the next day after the procedure. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some that choose to take the next day off just to kind of let their mouth rest. It can be a, a decently length appointment sometimes to... Well, I'm sure you're going to be sore. There's yeah, going to be so something. Sore, it's not like you're, your, yeah. your gums are a little irritated and so they just kind of want to rest and let their mouth, that healing process start. How about eating? Does it take a while before you can start eating? Um, so just like when you've had any other dental work, the tissue might be a little sore and irritated. Mm -hmm. There might be sutures that are in place that might have to heal. Um, but typically, you know, if you have other teeth or another side of the mouth to chew on, or we'll give you a replacement option that can be placed in there to kind of serve as a temporary until that implant has fused into the bone and you can chew and eat with that. We might have some viewers out there who are thinking, wow, this is really something I should have done, maybe something I should have had done years ago. Mm -hmm. So who makes a good candidate for this procedure? So really anyone, either, anybody that has a, a missing tooth to multiple missing teeth can be good candidates. Um, for example, the photos that are up there show somebody that is edentulous or has no teeth. So they maybe wore a traditional denture that replaced those teeth for a while. Those can kind of move around, slide around in the mouth. They're not always held in, in place. So for them, we would place a couple implants and then that denture would snap into that and be more retentive. That helps the patients not have to use any dental adhesive, any polygrip or mm -hmm, anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then same thing like we talked about before, if you're missing just a single tooth or, or a couple teeth, um, placing one implant in that area 
to replace just that single tooth is a little bit better of an option than having to cut down on those adjacent teeth. You know, yeah. it kind of preserves tooth structure. We don't like to take away healthy tooth structure as dentists. So. Now, Kelly, let's talk, uh, you know, finances. Obviously, these are not going to be cheap, but they're worth the cost 100%. Yes, correct, yeah. uh, does dental insurance pay for the implant procedure and the surgery part? Tell us about that. We see some insurances do about 50-50. Um, but we are offering a free consultation for any patients um, that are interested in the implants. Um, by doing that, we can look at your insurance when you're in our office that day and do a complimentary benefits check. And by the time you leave our office, we should be able to let you know whether or not um, what your out-of-pocket expense will be and what your insurance will help you out with. You know, it certainly doesn't hurt to take the chance, make the call, find out, take advantage of that consultation offer. So if this makes sense to you or someone you know, hey, maybe you're a wife whose husband needs a little push or vice versa, or you have an older relative. There's two locations for quality dental care. Um, you can find them at qualitydentalcare.com. They also are qualitydentalcare.org, excuse me. Um, they also have the office in Bennington, which is where you two mm -hmm. ladies are from. Right. So good information today. Yes, I feel like, thank you so much. And, and I'm like, Kelly, I, I want to see somebody like unscrew their tooth. <laughs> well, I, think that is so cool. I grew up working in a hardware store and I love tools. Maybe yeah. that's it. Like I love to screw yeah. stuff into the walls. So, <laughs> not a total <laughs> weirdo. The patient shouldn't be able to unscrew their teeth. That would be reserved yeah. for the dentist. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. But don't want to give anyone that's that. why they come to you. So you yeah. don't have to yeah. unscrew your own tooth. Thank, thank you. you yeah, you're welcome. Well, unfortunately,